Okay, so the question is, how does a graduate student learn um, how to ask scientific questions and how to pursue them? <laughs> what makes a scientific question good? Uh, what did I already know about myself in deciding on my project? How can I take this project to the next level? How do I help trainees identify their research interests? I think you should ask me, do I ever have any students whose interests haven't changed? How can we get you to uh, be able to pursue what you want in the future. <laughs> that, I don't think there's a simple answer to that. This course is incredibly important for anybody who really wants to rigorously attain scientific knowledge. One of the most critical aspects of graduate education is being able to develop the ability to ask the right question. And as a graduate student or postdoc, you have a lot to do. And so how can you organize your time? This is where an individual development plan can be really helpful. Even though plans undoubtedly change, I think it's really helpful to make them in order to frame the conversation with your PI and feel like you can advocate for yourself. If you master that skill of engaging with a new problem and formulating a good plan to work on it, that is the deepest transferable skill that you will take away from your PhD. A course that brings together different scientific role models highlights to me this wonderful feature that there's multiple ways to get it right. It's a huge adventure being a scientist and the more we share the ways we do it, each one can explore and discover their own way of doing it, I think the greater our well-being. Usually everything that is talked about and that is taught is the science itself. And so all of these other skills are usually not formally taught. So I do think it is really necessary to have a formal course that touches upon all of these aspects. And I'm really happy to see iBiology do that.